hello thank you for joining me today and if you're a returning viewer thank you very much for coming and watching my videos on my channel so today i'm going to do a video which was requested as to how to make these roses recently i posted a video as to how i'd made this fan fold vase card and a couple of viewers asked how i'd made these roses so i'm going to demonstrate two techniques today one making them like this and then another way of making them which is slightly more complicated this way i think this way looks more effective it looks more natural but it's also requires a little bit more patience and a little bit more effort so i'm going to show you both techniques the die set that i was using is by paper discovery it's an exclusive brand to craft stash in the uk but they do ship worldwide and the die set is available so i will pop links in the description box below so as you can see i've die cut two of these um, in white cardstock i've cut a third one which i've cut the edge off so that's just got two petals left. And I'm just using this ball tool from Sizzix to shape the petals. Now there's a variety of different tools that you can get. These are available from many different retailers. Uh, but I did recently purchase the Sizzix flower forming set, which I really like. And again, I'll pop a description, I'll pop a link in the description box below. So all I'm doing is just rubbing the petals over in my hand using that ball tool and it just really gives the paper a little bit of dimension. It helps break up some of the fibres in the paper as well so it allows the paper to be a little bit more malleable. And I'm just going to repeat that on both sides of each of the petals. Next we're going to take the piece that I've already cut a petal off. So we've just got these two petals and all we're going to do is wrap it around something small and tight just to form the centre of the rose. I'm just using a size 4 Princeton watercolour brush but anything that you've got that's small and tight that you can wrap it around would be great to just create the centre. And once we've done that, I'm just using my hot glue gun to add some glue to the centre and then we're going to stick that down. I do find hot glue a little bit stringy. I still don't have the knack for it, but it is quick and easy when you're making 3D flowers that you're going to then glue onto a, a project. It just holds it in place very quickly, so it makes it a little bit easier. So once we've stuck the centre down, I'm just going to add a dot of glue on each of the petals, about half a centimetre up, and then we're just going to fold those in and attach them to the centre of the rose. And this just then starts to take shape and helps us to form the flower. So we're just going to repeat that process now with another set of petals, adding a dot of glue and then attaching it to the bottom and just curling those petals over. I did decide it needed an extra one, so I've got another one there that I've just quickly shaped and I'm just gonna add that to the bottom as well. And it just really helps the flower to really look a bit more three-dimensional and a bit more realistic. So another way to do it would be to use a flower forming kit. Now I've got this one from Sizzix. I'll pop a link in the description below. It comes with two ball tools and a reverse set of tweezers, which are really handy when you're waiting for something to dry. They really are good for holding things in place. And all I'm going to do is get each of the petals and use the slightly smaller of the larger um, ends of the ball tool. And I'm just going to go over each of the petals. And as you rub it into the foam, you'll see that they naturally start to curl round. And we're just going to do this for each of the petals. Now to make a slightly more realistic flower, you are going to use a lot more die cuts. And so we're just going to get all of those shaped up and ready to go for this version of the flower. So next on the two petals, I'm just going to use the ball tool to give it a little bit of shape and then I'm going to do the same on the single petal. And these two are going to be used to create the center of the rose. So all I'm going to do is grab my quick dry glue, which is Nouveau Deluxe Glue, and I've got my reverse tweezers from Sizzix and I'm just going to grip the edge of that single petal and tightly wrap it around the edge of the tweezers. Then I'm going to grab the glue, dab a little bit on the edge. I'm going to remove the tweezers and attach them to that on the outside so that it just grips it while it dries. Now I'm sorry this is a little bit off camera but I've just got a pair of normal tweezers and with the two petals I'm just doing exactly the same thing. I'm just wrapping it around that sharp tip just so that I've got something to wrap it around tightly and then I'm just going to remove it. And then all we're going to do is gently open that up a little bit so that we can put this single petal in the centre. 
and that will just really give the rosebud a really tight looking nice finish. So I'm just going to add that in the middle and then rewrap that around the outside just so that we get a really nice tight centre. And then we're just again going to add a little bit of the quick grab glue, dab a little bit on the outside petal and then just wait for that to dry. And again I can use the reverse tweezers here just to hold that in place while it dries. And as you can see you've got a really nice centre for the flower. And this glue does dry clear so you won't see any of that white once it's dry. Cosmic Shimmer is also a really good glue for quick grab glue that dries really quickly and also dries clear. And I do like the Ranger Multimedia Matte but that takes a little bit longer to dry so it's not so great when you're trying to make flowers quite quickly. So next, once we're happy that that's dry, we're going to get one of the main petals, add some glue to the centre and then we're just going to attach that centrepiece in there and we're just going to hold that in place until it's dry. I did need to add a little bit more glue here as it wasn't quite enough. But then we're going to put the centre in and we're just going to hold it in place, tightly bunch all those petals together and then just hold that in place while it dries. And then we're just going to repeat that process. So I'm going to get another petal, add some more quick grab glue and then I'm going to attach that centre. Now what I'm doing is I'm just gently offsetting the petals so that they're not directly in line. Obviously you don't want a triangle flower, you want it to look realistic. So I'm just putting them slightly off centre and then because this is still quite close to the centre of the flower, I'm just adding a little bit of glue, about half a centimetre up on that inner petal and I'm just going to hold that in place just to bunch the centre together. And while we're waiting for that to dry, we can gently use the tweezers just to curl around the petals. And this just gives a really more natural look to the flower. There's not really a right or wrong way of doing this. As you're making the flower, you really kind of get a sense of how it's looking, where you want to add those little bits of curl to the petals and what shape you really want to give the flower. And of course, it depends how open you want your flower to be whether you want it to be a small bud or a larger bud. But I'm just really demonstrating how to make the flower here. And obviously there's lots of ways that you could customise this and change the colour. And I'm just going to speed this process up now, as all we're going to do is repeat this process on each of the four remaining petals. <laughs> So there we go, there's the finished flower. And here's a close up of the three flowers that I've made. So the white one was obviously made a slightly easier way. And then the two colored ones were made using the Sizzix flower foaming kit, which I really think does bring them to life. It gives them more three dimensional effect. It does take a little bit longer. However, I think the effects are worth it and it's actually quite enjoyable making paper flowers. So thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you being here. And if you've seen it through to the end, thank you ever so much. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more and please leave a comment in the box below. I'd love to know what you think of these flowers and which one's your favourite. Take care.